You're watching Outdoors Delmarva presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Welcome back to Outdoors Delmarva. We continue our walk here through the Delaware Botanic Gardens right now. Delaware Botanic Gardens Executive Director Cheryl Swed and President Ray Sander joined in on the tour and explained what makes the gardens in Dagsboro so unique. Well, I think it's really important to think about a 21st century botanical garden. And this is what we are today. A botanical garden in a lot of people's minds is just a lot of pretty flowers and flowering bushes, maybe some trees. But a 21st century uh, public garden has another mission. And that is to encourage people to come outdoors so they appreciate the outdoors and also to be able to preserve and sustain the outdoors. When Pete Altorf was here, um, we walked around and this was a soybean field. And, uh, and it was kind of uh, like a, a wild meadow. And he was touching some of the things like uh, dog fennel and so forth. And he said, this is very beautiful, but we can make it more beautiful. <laughs> And I hope that you re, that you, you visit your viewers if they come out here before we close on November 20th can see what this fifth season is. This is the fifth season of, of the Pete Aldorf Meadow and it just is, I think, glorious. I, I think it's as beautiful as any of the seasons that he plans for. And the colors out there and the, the contrasts and the movement of the grasses are, are just uh, take my breath away every time and I, I see it Five times a week, I'm still, still excited about it. We open on St. Patrick's Day or the day before St. Patrick's Day. We'll be closing on the 20th of, of November. So it's coming up pretty fast. 85% of, of the meadow are, are all native plants. And they're, they're much better for the pollinators, the bees, the butterflies. We had hundreds and hundreds of butterflies this summer. Um, and they were just everywhere. So if any of your viewers want to get involved in that process, they can go on our website, DelawareGardens.org, and there's a place to uh, indicate that you'd like to be a volunteer and what you have to do to volunteer. We'd love to have some more people come out because not only do you work out here when you're a volunteer, but you also share in the beauty of it. And you walk around when you're finished your, your tour and you can, you can still enjoy it through December, January. And it's a beautiful place even during those times. So while we're being closed to the public, there's a lot of activity here because that's when we have to get ready for next season. The garden is never finished. The garden is something you have to continually do and it's always building on the future. And we have a lot of different skill sets. So we've had people come from overseas to see his garden because he's got this following from around the world. It's been amazing. But now there's, there's a garden in Dagsboro. Think about it. <laughs> put, us, put Dagsboro on the map. To find out more and to become a volunteer here at the Delaware Botanic Gardens, go to DelawareGardens.org. Still to come, we'll head up to Middletown as we check in with the Special Olympics Delaware Fall Festival. But if you're going to be walking around the Delaware Botanic Gardens, you might want a walking stick. And in Scorchy's Corner, we're going to meet a man who makes just those. Outdoors Delmarva, presented by Gateway Subaru. We'll be right back. Get outdoors, Delmarva! Delmarva. 